back to either pass with flying colors or fail miserably. Now, we introduced this with only 20 minutes left in class because we wanted you guys to, we wanted to introduce you guys to the concept and see if you can apply your dance history to what we learned in class today. Some of you did it and bravo, some of you guys didn't, but that's okay because it wasn't designed for you guys to get it in 20 minutes. What we did was, we did the basic step. One, two, three, four. Then we switched hands, boom. Guys, I grabbed her left hand with my left hand and connected my right hand to her right hand. My left is over my right. And then I continued the basic step. From the top, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and switch, one, two, three. Once I was here, I prepped for a turn. As she turns, I step back, back, together. Excuse me, so we can make connection. Notice we made, we had tension here and here, and we also had connection across the back of her back with my forearm. Pro tip for the guys, if you want extra control, which happens through connection, then you make connection here. Yes? Then, once we had this, we stepped forward and went for a walk as normal. Bow. And then we came back. Now, the move that we did today was we applied tension forward, forward, and back, and forward, and back. Notice I can do this without stepping, and I also do this without leaning over like this. I did this because I led with my forearm, and I led her forward and stopped her and then brought her back. I can let her go all the way and bring her back with tension, or I can stop her halfway in her step. This is an application of tension. As I did this, I led a small prep step, and I led down. So my knees bent a little bit, I applied downward pressure with my forearm to her back, and I led her to step into that. And when I brought her back up, I used this hand and this hand to guide her to step around. Now, the difference is I am not going just back and forth horizontally because that's asking her to move horizontally because her arms are connected to her shoulders which are connected to her body and her frame. What I did was I gave this motion which tells her rotate, but rotate on the balls of your feet. When I did that and I saw her body position around, I then asked her come back down we're just saying, okay, put your foot down and place your step. Because we did that, we could go back and forth and we could leave this. Notice Anais' hands are where Anais' hands started and where they're staying the entire time. When I was ready to come out of this move, I still brought her back down. And as I brought her up, I brought her around and then you could add some static. Questions? Something I missed? Anything I can break down further? 